this tutorial uh, this playlist so there this is particularly is a four part uh, tutorial series about react saga and this is the part three in which we will be setting up redux in our react application till now in part one and part two what we have done is in part one we have created the react component and a class based and a functional component then we move to the part two in which we have discussed about different life cycle method which we create in class based component and their counterpart in functional component using the hooks uh, once we are done with these two parts and if you haven't watched that particular part i'll recommend you should go and watch that part then only this particular part would be bit more uh, easier for you to understand but no worries even if you don't uh, haven't watched that part and want to continue with this part i'll try to explain it in such a manner that you will be able to understand it in a better way right now uh, moving forward with this part we'll be doing a redux setup like we'll be creating a store then we'll be creating a reducer in which we will be putting our cases for updating our global store and then after that will be what we'll be doing is we'll sort of create an action which will be dispatching from the component so we'll do it in from both the class base and the functional component we will dispatching our action just to update our store so that uh, like post watching this particular tutorial you will be able to uh, understand the entire end-to-end -end things that how you can create a redux store and integrate in the, into your simple react application so uh, telling you about the basic pre-context so basically this is the tutorial four part tutorial series i have written the <coughs> the all the parts so in, currently we are at this third part okay fourth part i have not written and shot yet so i have not added the link once that part is also ready i'll add the link here and uh, we are good to go with that so once you will be watching the fourth part you will be able to get all the links so till now you will be getting the links till part three and like before that okay so here is a bit about the textual uh, con tutorial in which if it if in case you want to maybe copy some sort of code you can directly get it from here also i'll be pushing everything on my github repo for that the link you can find uh, in this tutorial as well in this written tutorial as well plus the uh, the video tutorial which i'm currently making in the description of this particular video all the links like the all the part you'll be getting all the necessary links so just check out the description as well for any links right this is a bit about me if you want to maybe read about something about my mind and my sort of uh, any of my channel you can go ahead and maybe watch that stuff i think that's good now we are good to start basic introduction about the project so this is a react saga project which i have created using the uh, create react app uh, cli tool in which you can see there is a src folder and if i close all the folders and show you it again so till now what i have done is i have just created this container folder till my tutorial 2 in which i have created two component class base and functional base components and uh, what i have done is i have sort of created hooks in functional component and class based component uh, i've created some life cycle method like component did mount and component will mount although i've removed uh, component will mount in this particular uh, tutorial since we are not using it much but uh, if you want to understand about the hooks life cycle method and class based component versus the functional based component you can go to the video one and two uh, which will be showing you that part now moving forward in this tutorial what we will be doing is mainly creating a store uh, like the agenda is to connect the redux to with our application but uh, for that what we will be doing is we will be creating a store a reducer an action which combinedly will uh, make our application uh, redux ready okay so let's start with the store.js so I've created a store.js although uh, this is I won't say this is the perfect uh, architecture of an React application but it does the work done like it help me achieve the functionality which I want to achieve. Uh, now in my store.js what I've done is if I'll sort of zoom a little bit uh, in which I've created I've used create store and compose method from the Redux library. Uh, in the create store method i have passed my reducers 
I have created a variable as compose enhancer. Basically, this command compose enhancer is sort of a middleware which uh, provide you with the CLI tool, uh, not the CLI tool, but the dev tool, which uh, extension which we will be installing in the Chrome. Uh, I'll show you which extension I'm talking about. So this is the Redux. Uh, uh, like this, all we can see that there is sort of some uh, some things used in the React, uh, like uh, the Redux store, whatever components and all those stuff are there. So same thing we will be doing. Uh, like this, okay, Helting can be achieved using Composer. Okay. Now moving ahead mm -hmm. with the uh, other parts. So basically, now we will be moving with this reduce uh, which we have created inside the reduce reducer folder i have two files one is the home.js another one is index.js so index.js is mainly the combining all the reducers so with you can see i have used this uh, combined reducer function so this combined reducer function will will combine all the reducer individual reducer which we have created for now i have just created single reducer so although uh, this is just to give you a context, content, context sorry, uh, about what we are doing. So suppose if you like, you create an app reducer, then you can do it like this, and then uh, import it from here, and then combine it. So you will your final, uh, you will be having two reducers ready with you. Okay. Now what we do in reducer is basically we create some cases based upon the cases we update our initial state or for that particular reducer okay so for instance i have created a case that if suppose our component will dispatch or it will say trigger an action so our this reducer will catch it based on the condition which we have implemented and uh, based on that we will be updating our store got it uh, one small tip here so basically I have used written the case directly string here although this will work but this is not very good practice so what we do generally uh, we create a constant file somewhere in our project like uh, we create a constant folder here in that constant folder we can create some variable which we can use anywhere where we want to use maybe update titles so that there are less chances of human error okay uh, I'll show you why that variable is required okay now once we go to the action it will make more sense so I've also created the action so which will be dispatched by the basically by component and uh, that will be cached here in our reducers so if we'll go back to the component sorry action in this case see we have a, a f action which has a type update title right now let's suppose I dispatch this action and this action will be cached by my reducer home reducer and it will update my title and what we are expecting in the payload we will be sending you the updated title correct now if it case suppose if i'll update i by mistake written it title right that will cause me an error correct and our reducer will also not be able to recognize it so that's why we create the common uh, constant variable and then use it at both the places okay now once we are ready with the store or uh, our reducer and the action uh, now all our application is integrated with the Redux right now. The next step is to integrate our component with the reducer, like the store. So we need to have the access of that store, otherwise the store will be of no use, right? Because and the component is the basic building block. So if we we'll go in our class-based component, I have done it using the connect method, which is provided by React Redux library. So you have to install npm install React Redux first, then only you, this library would be. Uh, available so this is the simple step npm uh, i or install react uh, and react redux oh sorry react redux and i'm so sorry uh, redux and redux these two library we will be requiring for integrating it with the redux so in react redux library we have a connect method which is sort of uses the javascript current uh, logic right so mainly we have to provide it with two functions match dispatch to props and match state to props so basically all the global state would be available in the props variable this dot props of the class correct now we pass that uh, map dispatch to prop and map state to prop in our connect method and the next class base whatever is the name of your component that you will be passing in the second parameter uh, by that this will integrate these uh, method and make it available to the props key and that's how i think that simple that's how it uh, works okay 
now if in case suppose we have this update title action which is ready with us as soon as our component will be loaded component did mount will be triggered and in return it will trigger us this action that is update title so see you can see update title is coming from the action right this will trigger this is from the class based component and basically this will this is our payload so what will happen it will go to my update title action creator payload would be updated here that this is from the class based component and type we have already defined that uh, update title this will be later intercepted by our um, reducer that will check the cases if the case match it will update that payload value to the title so finally on our screen we should be uh, seeing something this is from the class based component okay so if maybe if i'll start my program just to show you how it is working and we start is my command to uh, start the program and if i'll go back to my this screen and my project is running on port local host 3000 and it's i think it's good to so here you can see this is from the class based component correct and uh, that's how we have uh, if we go to our reducer and if i'll maybe refresh it again it is saying that this action is dispatched uh, which is action if i'll go to the action it will say the title is this and my payload is this and my state finally my home reducer is updated to the final value that is this is from class based component right so that's how you have you can integrate your application with the redux the entire source code I'll be pushing in the GitHub repo as well as you can find the code snippets in this uh, written tutorial that is the part 3. Okay, and once you are done with that, I'll guess you are good with um, integrating the Redux with the application. Okay, I think we are done with the Redux part. In the next tutorial, we'll be learning about how finally we can int introduce Redux saga in our entire uh, flow and maybe i'll give you a bit comparison with react thunk how different it is from react thunk and yeah we are good to go with that so yep, thank you for watching if you like the video do hit the like button and do share it with your friend who are planning to maybe move to react or who are already in react and want to understand about redux saga because most of the people are working with Redux thunk mostly so if anybody wants to uh, who is working with Redux Saga and wants to maybe work with the Redux Saga, the next tutorial would be for those people. Okay, so I'll say uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day. And if you have any specific doubt, you can definitely mention that in the comment. I'll try to help if I'm able to, or otherwise, I'll be maybe connecting you with somebody who can help you. Okay, thank you. <laughs>